Hey everyone, I am Sanket Singh. I am working as a software engineer at Google and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about how you can master dynamic programming. So dynamic programming is one of the four programming paradigms like greedy algorithm, divide and conquer, brute force and dynamic program. As per my experience, so till now I have taught more than 20,000 students and as per my experience, I have a very strong feeling that a wide majority of students face difficulty in understanding how to solve dynamic programming problems, right? So dynamic programming is, I would say, not very tough, but definitely not very easy you know, when you come to an ad hoc problem and you don't know that this problem is going to be solved using dynamic programming. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what I did during my college days uh, and during the time when I was doing a lot of problem solving in order to understand the core gist of dynamic programming, how I was able to uh, solve dynamic programming and what I, I would say, suggest students in order to, who are learning dynamic programming in, in what way they should learn dynamic program programming. All of this that we are going to discuss in this video is going to be completely my opinion. Uh, some people can definitely disagree with the facts that what we are going to discuss here today, but definitely it is something that helped me and definitely this can be something that can help you. So without any further delay, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel if you find the content to be useful enough for you guys. And we are going to bring more such awesome content to do. So do hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notification whenever we are going to put a new video. So without any further delay let's just start so in this video we are going to take few references right in these references there are very good i would say text articles for dynamic programming these are some of those articles that i also used to refer and i still refer whenever i am teaching dynamic programming so we are going to refer the book of corman thomas h corman introduction to algorithms by thomas h corman we are going to refer the book competitive programming 3 Right, we are going to uh, refer to the Ad Coder DP contest. We are going to refer CSES uh, DP problem set, and we are going to refer few of the lead code articles, which have more than eight thousand upvotes. Right, all of these references I have taken from is from the internet. If you have some more references, which maybe uh, I would say appreciate whatever facts that I'm going to put it forward, do mention those in the comment section. Right, okay. So what I feel about dynamic programming, and if you will read all of these texts you will also get a notion that dynamic programming is more of like patterns. Just like how in old school days we used to solve integration based problems, right? So whenever uh, uh, we used to learn integration, our in, uh, educators used to tell us about, let's say 13 to 14 different type of integration, let's say integration by part, integration by substitution, split, then integration, so on and so forth. There are like multiple types of integration that existed out there. And then we used to get a new problem and the main agenda as a student who is going to solve an integration based problem was you have to decipher the problem, you have to simplify the problem such that you can land up in one of those 14, 15 ways of integration and then you can directly put forward the principle of integration there. Same thing we have to do with dynamic programming, at least according to my opinion. So in dynamic programming also, we have some certain set of patterns. These patterns are uh, some of those which are going to be used in almost 70 to 80 percent of the dynamic programming problems. Right. Uh, at least the general lead code problem that you are going to see definitely are going to lie in one of the following patterns. Right. So we are going to list about all of these patterns and how I got, got a notion about these patterns. I got a notion about these patterns by reading these texts. So I would highly recommend you guys also to go forward uh, and read all of these texts and then also get an idea on how to solve more dynamic programming problems. So let's just start. So first of all, we are going to start with the lead code article that I have mentioned in the link uh, in the description section below. This lead code article also talks about the dynamic programming patterns. So here you can see they have listed few of the patterns like minimum, comma, maximum path to uh, path to reach a target, distinct ways, merging intervals, DP on strings, and decision making. So first of all, let's just see the first pattern they are, that they are mentioning: minimum, maximum path to reach a target. So they mention that these are those kind of problems where you have to find minimum to maximum cost slash path slash sum to reach a possible target and they list the problems as minimum following path sum two key keyboard perfect square maximal square coin change what i call this pattern is the coin change pattern so you might have already solved the coin change problem the coin change problem maybe the minimum coin change problem or the total coin change problem there are multiple uh, variety of coin change problems right in a coin change problem what what you have been given is you have been given a denomination 
for the currency and you have to find the minimum number of change that you need to give as the as uh, as the quantity of coins uh, in order to give the corresponding value so if you will go to the educational dp contest right and sorry not educational dp contest if you will go to the cses contest then here you can see the first problem minimizing minimizing coins coin combination 1 coin combination 2 all of these problems are uh, somewhere around the coin change only so if i refresh the page if i refresh the page so here you can see this problem is the minimizing coin problem right and you will find a lot of problems that are directly based on minimizing coin right so if i show you uh, let me go back and let's say if i go to removing digits right this problem is a direct application of coin change why because instead of given denominations you have the digits which you can use in order to give a uh, like reduce your problem so this problem of removing digits is a direct application of coin change problem right so the, here all of the problems that they have listed all of these problems that they have listed are a direct application of coin change problem so here you have to make some decision yeah here you have to make some decision because you have all the denomination of coins right and you don't know which denomination is going to give you the best answer so for every denomination what you are going to do you are going to either choose that denomination or not choose that denomination pick not pick pick not pick right let's say you have a 2 rupee coin 3 rupee coin and a 5 rupee coin it's upon you you can start by choosing a 2 rupee coin or maybe you don't choose a 2 rupee coin you can choose a 3 rupee coin or maybe you don't choose a 3 rupee coin you maybe you can choose a 5 rupee coin so this pick not pick kind of a strategy is like very relevant in a lot of problems you will see the similar strategy in knapsack based problems also so if you will go to the educational dp contest there you can see the initial d and e problem is the knapsack problem right so knapsack problem also works on the same strategy that you are given some items and the value and the weight and you have to maximize your profit with the given target weight of knapsack so here also you apply the same strategy pick not pick every time either you pick an item or do not pick an item so this is one of the patterns this is one of the patterns then after that there is one more pattern where you have to calculate distinct ways on the lead code article they have listed it as separate one but i consider it same as before only because when you are minimizing or maximizing or when you are counting the total number of ways both of them are going to be a similar kind of dynamic programming problem why so so let's just come to the cp3 article let's just come to the cp3 article so here you can see here you can see that they have mentioned that dp is primarily used for optimization problems and counting problems so whenever they say optimization problem that means they say minimization and maximization problem so if you are doing minimization maximization or counting both of them are like kind of similar it's just what pattern they are going to be used right so this pick not pick strategy based pattern can be used for optimization problem also and can be used for counting problem also as i as i showed you right the minimum coin change here you can see there are two problems uh there are two problems minimum coin changes there and coin combination is this this is like the total coin change with permutation and combination so this was the first pattern that is pick not pick right this is the strategy pick or not pick so in knapsack in knapsack modified you are going to see this strategy right in house robber problem so there is a problem on lead code called as the house robber problem so in the house robber problem also you will be able to see this pick not pick strategy where you are going to either pick a house or not pick a house so this was the first pattern Before moving forward I would like to thank the sponsor of this video that is cryo.2 so I personally believe that all the students instead of focusing just on how to get a job they should focus on how to become a better engineer and I believe personally that in order to become a very good engineer you should be good at problem solving and what's the better way to learn problem solving than project based learning and cryo.2 is bringing you a very immersive experience on project based learning So at Cryo dot do you can have specific tracks which are going to focus on exact real life projects, real life work experience, and job ready portfolios. Cryo dot do is something that is recognized by the industry. Even with companies like Flipkart, they run their own uh, programs where they train the employees and the new software engineers of Flipkart. And you can get a similar experience by enrolling to their programs, which are basically focused. on project building project based learning where you are going to be enrolled in one of the projects which are going to be a very industry ready project and you are going to realize that what caveats what checks are being done when you exactly build a similar product in the industry you are going to have a similar team you are going to have similar features to implement and that is going to give you a very immersive and skill based learning right the whole program is much more practical oriented rather than theory 
So what are you waiting for? You can use the code in the description section to avail a 10% discount on their programs and start your project based learning with Cryo.2. Now let us talk about the second pattern. Now, when we go to the second pattern, this is merging intervals. So there are a lot of problems. Let me show you first the problems. The problems like burst balloon, remove boxes, minimum cost to merge stones, so on and so forth. These all are these merge interval problems. If I tell you in a nutshell, then the problems based on matrix chain multiplication. So here you can see, here you can see, you will also find a lot of problems around matrix chain multiplications. So let's just go to uh, this one. Let's say stones. Right. Uh, okay, not this one. Slimes. Right. So if you will read this problem of slimes, if you will read this problem of slimes, then you will be able to understand the fact that this is also a matrix chain multiplication based problem. So in all the problems of matrix chain multiplication, like uh, if you go for matrix chain multiplication, there's one more problem uh, on spodge uh, that is also related to matrix chain multiplication, I guess. Uh, it is somewhere somewhere around the similar strategy. I'll, I'll list the problem in the chat, right? You can see the problem of burst balloon. This is also based on matrix chain multiplication. Even if you will go for the CACS problem set, you will find some problems around matrix chain multiplication. So this is a pattern that you can see optimal uh, game strategy it is also directly related to matrix chain multiplication longest palindromic subsequent this is also directly related to matrix chain multiplication like this kind of a pattern this kind of a pattern where you have to fill the dp states according to this relation you can see the relation on your screen this kind of a relation if you are having this is going to be one of the type and you can even read the text of corman you can even read the text of Corman. So here you can see I have the Corman text. So first problem that they have listed is rod cutting. Rod cutting is kind of similar to, I would say, uh, coin change. But if you will go forward, if you will go forward and uh, find the problem of MCM, see. The next problem they have they, that they have listed is matrix chain multiplication. So this is also one, one very, uh, I would say, important pattern. Right. So I would highly recommend you guys to see this pattern because in this pattern you have uh, to make these level of combinations right these kind of combinations so what i have seen in this pattern is if you want to get an answer of the bigger range like a contiguous cross section of the array then you need to find the answer of all the smaller possible contiguous cross section and this also fills the dp array in a very specific way let me see if i have the dp array filled. see it fills the dp array in this very specific way so that's a very different kind of i would say application of this pattern so this is the second pattern that i would say that try to solve more and more problems that they are they have listed here or based on matrix chain multiplication right okay now the next pattern that i would like to mention is again coming from the given texts only so if you will go to cp3 if you will go to cp3 and uh, if you'll go for the illustrations right so we will find a very interesting problem see they have also listed this classical examples so see the next problem that they have mentioned is lis right so lis is also one pattern so if you'll go to lead code and you'll find problems around lis then arithmetic slices one arithmetic slices two all of these problems are based on lis and even if you will go to the ad coder dp contest if you'll go to the ad coder dp contest and if you will go to uh, i guess flowers right this problem this problem that they have mentioned is a direct application of lis so lis by dynamic programming is one uh, i would say problem and you can also optimize this problem using binary search so that binary search based application is going to be used here in the problem queue so here you can see this ad coder dp contest this cacs problem set all of these uh, problem sets are having similar kind of problems but ju it's just about recognizing the pattern right so lis is also one more pattern apart from that you'll find a lot of problems around dp on strings so here you can see if I will list you the problems. So the problems like uh, edit distance, distinct subsequences, shortest common super sequence, all of these kind of problems are DP on strings problem. So if you want to f solve more DP on strings problem, then first of all, try to solve LCS and edit distance. Generally in the DP on strings problem, you have to make decision based on the characters and the DP on strings problem can be mixed with the pick not pick strategy. A lot of time it can be mixed with the pick not pick strategy. So this is also one more pattern that I would like to mention. Right, okay. Apart from that, apart from that, there are few more patterns. There are few more patterns that I would like to mention. That is DP on trees. So if you will find a problem where you have been given a tree and you, ha you are recomputing a lot of things again and again. So problems like diameter that you solve in binary tree or longest path in a generic tree. These are DP on tree based problems. So DP on tree also, uh, is also one pattern that you are applying DP in specific scenarios of uh, trees. 
problems like vertex cover this is also a dp on tree problem so i would say this is also one more pattern apart from that apart from that dp with bit masking you can find a lot of problems around dp with bit masking so if i show you uh, let's say grouping so this is a very interesting dp uh, uh, dp with bit masking kind of a problem right so you will you will find a lot of problems around dp with bit masking you can search for those in code forces code chef problems like traveling salesman so this is also mentioned in the cp3 text so if i go forward if i go forward see in cp3 also they have mentioned coin change as one pattern right and here you can see traveling salesman so this is a very important dp with bit mask problem right so you can try to solve it in dp with bit mask you can see the pattern where if the constraints are not very high uh, like somewhere around the range of 15 to 17 kind of a thing dp of bit mask dp with bit masking can be applied so this is also one pattern right okay and like what you can see here in the cp3 prop in the cp3 book with every pattern they have listed a lot of problems they have listed a lot of problems so let me show you uh, see this let's say coin change this there is knapsack see knapsack the pick not pick strategy is coming from knapsack so all of these problems and if you want to solve more problems around this pattern so you can open this book of cp3 right i'll i'll drop the link in the comment section and you will find a lot of problems see they have specifically listed problems around 1d range sum 2d range sum then lis a lot of problems are there around lis right then there are a lot of problems around coin change there are a lot of problems around knapsack there are a lot of problems around traveling salesman and some non classical dp is also present there so these all things that you need to do right so this is like a, an overall advice that i would like to give try to recognize patterns right i would highly recommend you guys to first solve this cscs problem set these are like 15 20 problems after this problem set try solving the educational dp contest with these two problem sets you will be able to solve around i would say 40 45 unique problems and you will get a gist around okay what different type of problems are there right so if i show you if i show you on this uh, educational dp contest then if you will go to the problem grid 1 if you will go to the problem grid 1 it's a very simple and i would say traditional dp problem right but if you will just scroll back and go to problem y which is grid 2 this is a dp with combinatorics based optimization problem right so here you have to optimize the problem using combinatorics right you will in this in this overall i would say problem set you will find problems with dp with binary search uh, dp with i would say computational geometry convex cells a lot of things are there so i would recommend you to solve each problem one by one right try to see that okay what pattern is getting applied try to see how any previously solved problem can be directly applied here and then change the modification then 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 do the modifications because if you will treat every dynamic programming problem separately it would be a wide variety of problems and you won't be able to understand okay okay what i am doing here but if you will see okay this problem is somehow related to that one pattern that i did then you will be able to recognize similar patterns again and again and it's all about how you similarly learned integration as i said earlier also so this is like my advice i will drop the links of all the i would say uh, patterns in the chat Uh, in the in the description section i will link the articles i will link the pdfs of corman and cp3 where you can read the text it's it's always good to read books because books can give you a gist that no one else is able to do because when i read cp3 this was the first time i get the notion that okay there are patterns like this that i can do so this 01 knapsack is that pick not pick strategy pattern right and then i try to solve more and more problems based on that patterns right and then as as you have read a lot of problems i would highly recommend you to give this uh, contest on code chef right let me uh, refresh it once so this is a contest on code chef which has like seven eight problems around dynamic programming so i would highly recommend you to uh, try this uh, problem set as well it's a bit advanced problem set but it will give you a very good gist around how dynamic programming works so you can one by one go to each of the problem right so i will uh, list a complete doc around all the patterns similar problems to those patterns and i would highly recommend you guys to solve those one by one right So that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video then don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you found the video to be useful enough. And uh, if you have any more doubts regarding the patterns of dynamic programming then do uh, drop in the comment section. I would like be very happy to answer them and uh, we'll meet you very very soon in the next video. Till then take care guys. Bye bye. Have a great week ahead and love you all.